Hey, what's up, guys? Y'all, listen, come in, sit down. We have a little bit of celebration, but we also have a little bit of what in the world. If you guys don't know, Meghan Markle did what everybody expected she would do. She won her case against her half-sister, Samantha Markle. Now, if you guys don't know, um, at least in my opinion, the British press used Meghan's father and the palace as a way to humiliate her and show that she wasn't worth marrying. It blew up in their face because they didn't really realize that Harry loved Meghan so much. He said, I'm not marrying you. I'm marrying your family. I'm not marrying your family. I'm marrying you. To which Meghan said, "Ugh, I wish that was true in my case. Right. But on the other hand, they then used her sister, Samantha Markle. They did it because I believe legal strategists were saying they wanted to force discovery so they could get access to all of Meghan's text messages, emails, everything she's ever written to her friends, to Harry, it was going to be like Thanksgiving. But you know that saying, no weapon shot, farmed across, uh, farmed against Megan actually prospered. What actually ended up happening? I'll tell you, it got thrown out because it was ridiculous. Y'all can play that Ray Vac UK court all you want in America. Come on now. And, and the whole point of it was to say that, um, Oh, and also she got it dismissed with prejudice, meaning that Samantha Markle can never bring these claims up again. I hope she got paid a pretty pretty by whoever put her up to this. Um, but forget that. We can talk about that later. Y'all, let's talk about the way. Okay? Let's talk about the way. Sorry. Let's talk about the way that even though on this day of victory, on this day of victory, the palace is still trying to mess with Meghan and Harry. Now, how they are now trying to blame Meghan and Harry for the reason that Kate is rumored to want to step back from royal duties. First of all, um, we can stop with this Weekend and Bernie stuff. Where actually is Kate? We've been saying it on this channel for over a month. We were called conspiracy theorists and all this. And now the whole world is like, wait a second, something is off. I don't know why we gave people that literally lied, smeared, besmirched, gaslit, treated cruelly their own flesh and blood, let alone know who we was married to and thought they would do anything different to Kate. If Harry is disposable, Kate, now that she's had three children, is 100% disposable. But let's get into how this is somehow Meghan and Harry's fault. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Now, if you guys haven't heard the report, they are now floating the fact that Kate might step down as Princess of Wales because of the stress. When I heard that, I said, William, this is... Listen, this reports are saying it's coming from William Powell's sources and William's beside himself. And I said, this is a dumber, more clumsier planning of stories than everything. Is this how you're going to say because the country's on Kate's side that she can't that she's stepping down? But anyway, I was like, but what's this have to do with Megan? Well, they released even more information on why Kate's stepping down. Listen to this, right? Um, uh, Prince William thinks Kate is emotionally unstable as she considers a drastic move. Again, notice how they're hinting that they think Kate is emotionally unstable. What in the world? First of all, now she's emotionally unstable. Now, if you guys don't realize, remember when um, this first started? And remember when um, uh, all the British commenters were like, Kate's broken down and they'll know what to do. Um, do uh, they'll know what to do. She'll, he'll, sorry, William will know what to do with Kate crying because he went through it with his mother. Remember how in the beginning, um, like, you know, all the royal reporters that are cool were literally saying that at the end of the day, that's why William's doing everything. Y'all, listen, they're saying William thinks Kate is, un is emotionally unstable as she's considering the drastic move. Now, how... You may ask, is this Megan's fault? Because they are directly trying to say, they are directly trying to say that William is beside himself over her stepping down because of the stress that Megan and Harry put on her. Let me just say this. 
William's own ego arrogance, but also vindictiveness is the reason all of this happened. Okay. And I'm being serious. Prior to them releasing those pictures of Kate, everybody was laughing at everyone that was like, we haven't seen a grown woman for over 70 days and you're giving us excuses about where they're at. Prior to that, nothing. It was just like, haha, because they tried to overshadow Harry and Meghan, all that happened, releasing the photo, and then the world came down and saw them for what they were. But let's get into why this is Meghan and Harry's fault, which is actually so sick and disgusting that William will not take responsibility for anything, even what's happening to the mother of his children. Do you think? Anyway, they're saying that while Kate's rumored decision has reportedly rocked her marriage to the king and William, uh, king and waiting William and the monarchy. So if you guys don't know, I believe that William's going to use this as an excuse for why he's leaving Kate. I need a woman that will be a working royal, don't you know? Okay. Well, Kate reportedly hasn't officially decided, A, because she's not officially awake. All right. She keeps pushing back the date she'll return to public life. Again, is Kate conscious to actually do this? Kate's desperate struggle with the constant pressure of life in the royal fishbowl has clearly taken a terrible tone on her, on her physical and mental health. She spends weeks staying out of the public eye after our operation. It's only stripped in her resolve to quit. Um, she's only been spotted twice since leaving the posh London clinic, reportedly known for cutting edge cancer treatments. That is weird that she went to a London clinic for cancer treatments. It makes me think that the reason why William only visited Kate once, and this is just my speculation, is that Kate actually wasn't in the clinic. Um, anyway, Baba, let's get to the Megan part. They said Kate's first official engagement was reportedly slated for June 15th, the Trooping of the Color Ceremony, nearly five months after her ser surgeries, but they've canceled that with no word on when she'll return to work. William is beside himself over her decision. He stunned his wife could ever consider such a move. He made sure she knew she was what she was getting into when she married him, and she's done a brilliant job. He's concerned she's become emotionally unstable because she insists she's finally seeing clearly. This does lead credence to the rumors that Kate had a nervous breakdown, but if she did, it wasn't because of William. As a matter of fact, Kate was just doing a victory lap because she ran Harry and Meghan out. Do you not remember Kate doing a victory lap for the all-white Christmas when she was outed as the royal racist or at least one of them? Kate's Princess of Wales exit from royal duties comes, comes after years of scrutiny and scandal. Kate's disillusioned and frustrated by the ongoing drama surrounding her renegade brother-in-law, Prince Harry, and his wife, Meghan. Another well-placed palace source build. But ironically, they've shown her that that's an alternative to being trapped in the firm. She knew when she married William, her life would change forever. But never in her wildest dreams uh, did she think it would be this intense. What has changed in Kate's life? I'm being serious. Because prior to this, the, 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 the news media was clapping when she was walking around in an all-white suit with red headlines and all-white Christmas because there was nothing but white people in the royal family. Nothing has changed except for Willie doesn't seem to want her anymore. Kate had a hard time when she first joined the royal family, but after a few years, assumed she'd gotten the worst of it. Kate's been painted as a villain. Uh, wait, the source continued noting that past drama with Harry and Meghan and UK tabloids. Kate's been painted as a villain, a racist who questioned the skin color of Meghan's son, Archie, before he was born, who made Meghan cry before her wedding, and who went out of her way to not be friendly. It's not just Meghan's son, it's Harry's son too, but whatever. These stories will never go away, which is one of the reasons Kate wants to retreat. Y'all, they... In addition to photoshopping cars, planes, trains, the Princess of Wales, all the kids, everything else, they literally now had the nerve to blame Harry and Meghan for the reason Kate wants to leave. Let me just get this straight so we understand what the palace is going for because they think they're master manipulators of the media. But baby, you can't do that here on American soil. And apparently you can't do it on the UK soil too because even the Daily Mail is questioning you. I will be going live to talk about that. 
but let me just say this, right? Um, let me make sure I understand this before we go, because we need to, every day something new comes up. Hate is missing. They are unable to produce proof of life. Every time they do try to show proof of life, it's shown that they are lying about everything. It is now being stated that Kate wants to step down as a working royal. And this has not only shook up the monarchy, but also her marriage, because William's shocked she could ever do anything because he needs a working wife, right? Kate literally worked 94 year, 94 days last year. And that's with a dresser, glam, makeup stylist. I know, I know what you're saying. How much money and glam does it take to style a 1999 Amazon Prime wig? Takes a lot, right? Um, so that's going on. But the reason she wants to step down, it's not because of anything William's done, the cheating, the lying, the, the stress, the unrequiting love, the shuddering at her touch, the recoiling, like she's something disgusting. No, 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 no. That's not why. The reason she wants to step down is because of Harry and Meghan. And the reason it's because of Harry and Meghan is because the thing she did to misalign them, to bully them, to be racist, to do all these things that they contend are true, you're mad that the world found out what you were doing to them. And because of that, you're going to quit something that you have literally sacrificed heaven, hell, and this earth to do. <laughs> Y'all, listen, the royals are putting out bedtime stories, but this has William's fingers all over it. Why? Because even in the midst of everything being broken down, they must find a way to blame Harry and Meghan. Y'all listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.